and welcome back to another video for you guys today we are gonna go see two jobs we're gonna go see uh, I think it's a stoop and some steps and like a lot a little side piece where uh, a mulch is at they want concrete there and then the other one wants a sidewalk um, the one with the stoop it's all wood it's a wood deck it's not too big but the thing is the guys uh, the previous guy whoever poured the concrete on the sidewalk um, they didn't put foam by where the mulch at and they didn't put fall fell and then the edge so you know that edge is pretty bad I'll show you a picture what is it how does it look and uh, I just don't I don't know what to do if I saw cut it, it's gonna look stupid but either way we're gonna go do that I gotta run some errands first and um, I'll see you guys in just quite a few I got it so right now it's 10 um, in the morning I got that uh, estimate around 11 so jobs are coming in I already closed five of them which is really good and we are not even in April so which is crazy so we're gonna keep pushing forward we're gonna go at it and I'll see you guys in just a bit all right guys we're just here I've been chilling here this is not the house the house over there I've been uh, eating breakfast but <clears throat> We are here. Hey, let's get our stuff. Hey, hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? All right, Eric. Nice to meet you. Eric. Nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, Eric. Hey. The one that's going, watching. Yeah, here, I got some cards for you. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. And uh, I seen, I was looking into the picture. Yeah, we got the job, and we have to go to another place to give the second bit we made it to the other house uh, homeowner Smart. so what do you got for me so you can see where this, this water is kind of standing it's oh good. yeah 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 I wanna, yeah i want to do something a little more modern that you know kind of like something like that okay hey guys so this guy is gonna check just um price range so we pretty much gave him an estimate for just a stoop and the sidewalk he wanted two um two bids one was for thickness and length for the sidewalk and the other one was um for the stoop so pretty much we gave him an estimate for both sizes one was how wide the sidewalk was going to be so he said if i could give him an estimate for four feet and then for three feet he is i told him i, I do uh four inches on sidewalks thick and then um i was going to take a piece out for him before the stoop and do a radius to connect to the straight uh sidewalk and then you see the the stoop is all done so his stoop is like literally only like three inches and he has a big step down, so I was going to give him seven inches, you know, a better step. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. He might go with us. He might not. I got to send him a picture of the of the uh, prices and everything he wants to know. And I'm like, okay. Just to know, just so he can know who to go with. I, obviously, I'm not going to charge him so much money, you know, for that type of job. But I charge fair. So yeah guys, pretty much I'm gonna have to combine this video to another video for Monday. And um we closed one job. This job this guy just, just wanted to check prices. So I'm debating if he's really gonna go for it. Who knows? Probably not. But it's really close to our yard, so it's kind of a bonus thing for me, I guess. But we'll see. I'll send him a picture and then that's it. God bless everybody and I'll see you guys on the next one adios nos vemos all right guys welcome back to another video today we are going to see the job we went i took you guys for the stoop she decided to change her mind she doesn't want the same um design the wood decks the wood porch or wood, wood stoop has <clears throat> so she wants to go a little more simple coming out and then some three four steps so we're gonna um go check that out so um we're gonna go check that out then um i gotta put some oil on the hydraulic <clears throat> tank for the power buggy so follow me over there um 
pretty sure it's really nice outside today it's gonna be 65 degrees here and I am super excited so I'll catch you guys in just a little while Here we just arrived. It is 10:58. Early. It is nice. I don't even know why I'm wearing my jacket. I feel dumb wearing this jacket, and then I got a sweater. All right, guys. So we actually um, gave her a new bit, and uh, it was just a couple dollars off. But it's still concrete. Concrete's expensive, you know. I can't. I try to get people not really cheap. That's not me. I don't go cheap. Like I don't. I don't give my my jobs away. This is a business. You now you gotta make money. Ten steps. But well, we're gonna head to uh to put some oil on the hydraulic uh, buggy and the pump. We can put hydraulic because it's low. It's marking low. So I talked to Ryan. I never owned a, a power buggy ever in my life. So. Um, we're gonna go with uh, 10W30. That's what Ryan said. Uh, I called Mike. I called around people, and uh, they said that it's not gonna affect it. You know, it's not gonna break it. You know, hydraulic oil and then hydraulic fluid and and all engine oil is kind of the same, I guess. You know, they know I don't, so it's kind of uh, you know to question it when people are telling me to just put it. It's not gonna help. It's not gonna do nothing. So we're gonna do that because it's really, 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 really low. And so we could be 100% ready for the season. All right, guys, we made it to the yard, and we got to turn on the power buggy, put the fluid in there, and then we had another bed now, 30 in the south side. So I'm gonna leave you'll be surprised. I, you know, you have to, you know, bid them a little high because you don't want to go. Work in the south end, they still go for it, so I'll be surprised if this guy goes for it too. Um, I forgot to put the stickers on for the breaker, and we're gonna do that. We got all the tape out and looks good it looks really good breaker looks good now we're gonna put the stickers on i think right here we bought these might as well just use this i don't really care if it looks perfect i don't know if it looks all right Worksite uh, HB50. I'm gonna have to customize these little stickers. But there you go. There you have it, John Deere. Okay. I'm buying another muff flat here. Probably like the inside. You know, it's all rusted out. So pretty much, I gotta probably just weld it here.
we got to. Boom. Greased it up. We're going to have to take that filter. Put uh, oil for the hydraulic because it was low. It's marking good now. That's it. Before we start, I got to start making a shelf here. And uh, I got these buckets. So the buckets, obviously some of the buckets are going to go down here. To get the, the cans. I actually have a can. A red can in the basement. And I have to clean with acetone. I got to bring it over here and clean it out here. I got to clean that one here. So that will be tomorrow. And uh, I'll start measuring and start building a shelf here. Since I already start building already. I could just tap it in. Screw it up through there. Make a shelf all the way to the top. And put some stuff in between those shelves. So. Yeah. So, that's it for right now, guys. I'm going to have to go see that job. I'm going to wash my truck. Wash my wife's truck. It's a beautiful day. And edit. I need to catch up. We do need a lot of stuff here. I was, I was going to buy... I was going to cover all this with black um, fence. Cover, whatever it's called. So... I want some privacy. Like really privacy. Ryan's in the back. Whoa! I was about to go home. Uh, maybe. Where do you live? Okay, what street do you live on? over there Kurt's over there he's uh he's getting ready for the season too started seeing him around now there's another concrete guy Ryan's here so Ryan what's up with Ryan but yeah like I was saying I was, like I was saying I want to cover all this stuff up the whole fence Amazon sells it 50 feet 6 feet wide and 50 feet long so I'm gonna have to measure all this stuff when I have time and uh, probably need like four bundles but it's really cheap just want some privacy here I guess look everybody can see through them. I'll probably just crash my butt and everybody's looking at it His breaker over there, everybody, everybody ready. Kurt was actually trying to sell me the truck over there. And it's already pretty much ready to go too. It's not on CDL too and uh I don't know, it looks good. I like the setup. I actually do like the truck. Only thing is stick shift so I'm going to have to be learning stick shift. I don't know what to do yet, guys. I don't know what to do. Hey, Ryan. How are you doing? I think I'm going to put the oil. Oil and what? Yeah, the, um, the power bug. And that's it. I was about to go. Um, pretty anxious to start. He's uh, he's ready to start, too. Um, guy over there across the street is ready to start. Uh, we're going to try to get it. But today, we're going to go see another job. And, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be here. Uh, putting that shelf probably wasted around like 60 bucks, which is not bad Yeah, pretty much. That's about it For right now, I'll see you guys in uh, a couple hours uh, It is around 12 right now. So around 2 30. I gotta go see that job So I'm gonna shut up and go get lunch. So the guy says yes, he's feels comfortable He feels you know good about it. So we're gonna try to send it 
see if he uh, goes for it and uh, if he does go for it then we're lock and load it and get it right away it's super easy you guys see it. he wants to porch the back patio with the sidewalk same sidewalk just a little radius between where the sidewalk starts and the uh, patio connects to it so yep super simple rebar everywhere rebar that's it but um we're gonna <clears throat> We're going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I got to go. Nos vemos. Adios.